So, uh, have you ever used contraception? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I have. Um, no. Hi, Nishi. Hi, Kelly. Right. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> so, uh, because of COVID, Olaf Counseling is now doing a video through a video chat because of the whole lockdown situation, right? Um, so today we're going to be asking a couple of our friends if they have partaken in any kind of sexual activities. Hi. 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 So uh, do you know why you're here today? I'm, I'm being interviewed. You'll be? I'm being interviewed. For right. The... right. So basically, we're going to ask you a bunch of questions. Um, it's pertaining to sexual health and sexual health education. Yeah. To what? To sexual health and sexual okay. health education. Okay. Uh, so your first question is, have you ever taken part in any kind of sexual activity? This doesn't include, this doesn't include uh, kissing. It includes everything else from intercourse to, uh, to oral sex, to dry humping, to anal sex, to using uh, sex toys, to... Um, I've not used all those stuff. Yeah, but have you, have you, have you been, have you taken yes. part? Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, at what age did you start being or were you sexually active? Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Did you ever use throughout those years from fifteen years till now? Did you use contraceptions? Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, what kind of contraceptions did you use? Condoms count as contraceptions, right? Do they? Yes, then yes. So condoms. Condoms. Okay. Uh, yes. Do you know? Do you know of any other kind of contraceptions that are available? I, for for men or women? Both. IUDs, I pill. Um, yeah, it's an only or two. Heard of, have you heard of female condoms? No. Okay, so they do exist. They're like little cups. All right. The cup thing. Yeah, they're like cups. Um, uh, all right. I read about it. All right. Did you ever receive any kind of sex talk? Or talk or any kind of sexual yes. education by your parents or in school by your teachers yes okay yes. would you like to elaborate uh, uh, so we had uh, the subject in biology where we studied it in depth in the 10th standard okay but was that sexual health was the teachers telling you what you can do what you can't do yes oh. all right um, your final question. What do you think of the um, need for sexual health education in today's world, for, especially for y youngsters and teenagers? It is very much required because like, it's not something you can control anymore. Maybe it was maybe like a generation ago. Now everyone's up and into it. So the need for education subject is very required, very much required. Okay. Um, that is it. Do you want to say anything else? Uh, no. All right. Uh, thank you for coming. It was great having you and great talking to you. So the first question is, yeah. uh, have you taken part in any sexual activity 
and uh, it does not include kissing okay so it okay. involves like you know oral sex or anal sex or in the course and then digital stimulation and the use of sex toys uh no so um have you ever received any sex education from your parents or teachers no you haven't no not from okay. my parents and teachers so, uh, at least what do you think about sex education like how would you uh, put forth and how would you tell the youngsters and the teenagers what is sex education okay so um, i think for one thing it's really important in india today um exactly how to make the youngsters understand is something that needs to be thought out very carefully because indian mindset is something very different compared to other places right this is what i think so the ways in which it has to be explained to the youngsters i think has to be very carefully thought out i'm not really sure how because i have tried talking to a few youngsters and you know they have this attitude saying we know everything and just because they have an access to internet today and everything is there on the internet i think that you know it's they think they know it all but mm-hmm. i think one of the main things that they need to know is what is safe sex and what it means you know and how to practice safe sex i think that is important another thing is i think they need to know the difference between what is a consensual sex and what is not you know okay. that no is no i think that is something that we need very much today and i think that in starts with the youngsters so according to me they should have to introduce sex education in school today not be shy about it talk about it openly and i think it should start at home first you know i think if the parents make the kids comfortable by talking about it it will be easier even at a workplace or you know say in school for teachers to talk about it that is so yeah i have one last question um yeah it's coming back to you actually the previous question that nishi asked you said that you didn't learn from your parents or from the teachers but from your friends yeah and yeah when you were giving your opinion on today's uh, sexual health education and how the uh, teenagers or youngsters are mostly you know we know it all yeah do you think mm. you and your friends i mean from where you all got your information were the same as how the teenagers are today yes sorry i i, I didn't get the last part do you think that uh, how the teenagers are today you know like saying that yeah. we know everything do you think you all you and your friends at during the day when you know your friends and you probably spoke about sex sex or yeah sexual activities were you all the yeah. same as how they are today no i don't think so because i think in that day we still had a sort of taboo right i think more than what it is today definitely because we discussed it as though it was something that shouldn't be discussed and we realize that now you know that it was wrong today so according to me yes there was some kind of difference because we were still not allowed to talk about it and the reason is that we did not have access to internet as much as they do today you know we didn't know about it as much as they do today because the information that we got was through books and you know through libraries or things like that or speaking to an elder person who was friendly enough to talk about it we didn't really go online and research about it maybe some of them did and they came and spoke to us but we still thought that you know that was something wrong because that was something fed in our mind you know you shouldn't search for such things or you shouldn't be talking about such things so yeah definitely there was a difference between what they had and what we have i mean the way that they have learned and the way we have learned all right well thank you for for talking thank to you. us no problem <laughs> uh, do you have anything else to say any last words 
uh i think that by medium of you guys like the things that you guys are doing right now i think it will be better i think it's something that the world needs right now and especially the youngsters and after what we've seen come to light in the recent days with you know all the chats that right. have leaked online i think what you guys are doing is something really great and i would advise everybody to just you know look for this and take something from it thank you thank you very much no problem it was nice talking to you hello hello hi all right so do you know why you're here uh, i believe i'm going to be asked a few questions which i have to give answers to right right so what we're going to ask you is we're going to ask you something regarding sexual health uh questions okay. that lead to or someone you know who's gone through sexual or who has received sexual health education probably should or would know mm-hmm. right uh the first question is an ice breaker have you ever taken part in any sexual health activities which do not include kissing this includes uh activities from intercourse to uh to oral sex to dry humping to anal sex to digital simulation to using sex toys have you done any of those activities few of them right um so what age did you start or what age did you become sexually active um so that's not the time i hit puberty right or is it after that are you referring no, to no it's it's the time when you started becoming sexually active that is the time where you started either self stimulation or intercourse or you know any one of those activities that i mentioned okay that would be about um, age 16 i'd say 16 so uh, have you ever used contraception through those years you know from 16 to now have you ever used contraception uh no i haven't okay uh are you aware of the types of contraceptions that exist uh yes i do okay uh could you name a few uh one would be condoms the second would be birth control pills right the third would be for us males would be vasectomy i believe is mm-hmm. that correct mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh then that's the only few that i'm aware of all right all right there are a lot more there is uti there are patches for women there is surgical uh injections and things like that there's also a female condom if you know the way it's like oh. a cup yeah uh so yeah um have you ever received any kind of sexual education or sexual health education or the talk from your parents or the teachers Well yes I have not from my parents but uh, well a little bit from them but there was this once in 9th grade I believe where we had a special 2 hour lecture mm-hmm. related only to that so okay. we were being taught the various kinds the infections related the okay. the problems and everything associated with that all right and the final question is um what do you think about the need for sexual health education in today's time especially for teenagers today's time hmm personally i feel it it is important as people need to look at it from a broad perspective and a broad point of view i mean sexual education doesn't really only have to do with sexual related stuff it also depends a lot on changing someone's mentality and making them understand that sexual thoughts or sexual behaviors should be used in a particular way and not so obsc- not so you know how do i put it broadly displayed so to say one must also be taught a level of self control 
because self control to me is one of the more important factors that accounts to sexual education as if one receives sexual education but has very less self control that doesn't really serve the purpose of what sexual education can do so yeah okay thank you for that mikhail it was very very fruitful it seems like very very much aware of the topic uh do you want to add a few words before you to everything you said till now from the time i've been in college and school sexual education has not really been that effective mm-hmm. from the amount of rapes and sexually and people that are sexually harassed is just alarming to see and the rates only keep going up instead of going down which is what we're trying to do so right. be more open understand the topic and do not take it in any other way let it change you don't let it break you right that's it okay Thank, Thank you. you very much. So much. Is it? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, right. Um so basically, do you know why you're here? Do you know why we're talking to you? I'm a subject. I know that much. I mean. <laughs> It's not really a subject. This is not really an experiment, okay. but but that's okay. 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 So so basically, we're going to ask you some questions. that revolve okay. around sexual health and sexual health education okay. okay um okay. so the first question just just as an icebreaker have you ever taken part in any kind of sexual activity this okay. does not include kissing it includes anything from okay. intercourse to anal sex to oral sex to mm. dry humping to uh stimulation mm. self stimulation to using sex toys right okay so second base and above yes the answer is yes all right uh at what age would you say did you start being sex- sexually active 15 15 all right yeah from the age of 15 till now have you used oh. any kind of contraception i have okay and what kind have you used a condom a condom and do yeah. you know any other kind of contraceptions that exist besides a condom uh diaphragm the pill okay or like you know you can snip you can get yourself snipped right right yeah the sex we yes Okay so there there are different other more kinds and things like that but have you ever had any kind of um sexual health education or a talk from your parents mm-hmm. or the teachers or any elder for that matter mm-hmm. uh from the teachers in school you could say but not mm-hmm. from like family members or parents or anything like that okay uh do you want to elaborate on what from the teachers exactly did mm. you huh? so i remember like they were just teaching us basic biology you know sexual reproduction okay. so we were like separated into two classrooms the boys were taken to one classroom the, right. the girls were taken to another classroom right. and then they were told this is how babies are made basically mm-hmm. but right. it was not about like you know they say, okay now you can use a condoms or, or like practice safe sex mm-hmm. or uh, they didn't talk about consent nothing like that it was it was mm-hmm. it was a biology lesson i would say right right okay uh yeah. for your final question what do you think about the need for sexual health education in today uh especially for teenagers youngsters today yeah i think there is a there is a gap between you know uh, what teenagers experience and what they are told or not told in school or or th- from their parents so i would say there is a need for uh, sexual education in in our classrooms and in general okay and and uh, it, you you also mentioned that during your time you all were separated mm-hmm. into two classes do you think that that should be mm-hmm. done do you think that is sexual health Like no separate. no i think that was counterproductive to be honest mm-hmm. you know like 
it's like if you create a taboo around the subject you know you say okay it's 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 supposed to be in a certain place it's not a way it's not related to us then it it increases the stigma associated right. with the topic so yeah so i think we should be more open about about sex mm mm-hmm. so, do you have do you have any uh, like ways in which someone could get rid of the stigma or things that you know parents should do or teachers should do or the education system should do i i think we just need to talk about it you know mm-hmm. i think that would be a good step because that's just where it begins now we 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 have like is okay so if there's a the sex scene on tv then you know we should put the tv off you know like that's what our teachers would tell us you know right. like there's something on tv like you know, don't uh, make sure you don't see those things and things like that but mm-hmm. like i think if we have an open honest conversation that would be a good start mhm all right so basically that that was it that was all that we had do you have any last words any last comments no like i said like it's a topic that needs to be discussed more so i'm i'm glad to be part of the conversation mm-hmm. i guess that's, that's it all right thank you all right shubhanka thank, thank you, you. All right. Thank you for um being and talking to us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for having me. <laughs> right. Hi. Hi. Okay. So do you know why you here? Um well, uh this is sort of like an in uh, Q&A session. You're going to ask me questions I'm going to answer. <laughs> Okay so do you want to know what the topic is about Yes I do Okay so the topic is on sexual health Okay Okay so I'll ask you a few questions and you'll have okay. to answer them Okay Yeah So the first question is have you taken part in any sexual activities but it does not include kissing okay so it involves like oral sex or intercourse or anal sex or uh, use of toys and uh, self stimulation so have you taken part in any sexual activities um well uh, does it i mean does it include masturbation yeah uh, yes okay so as you said yes uh, which age have you started um in my late teens like uh, towards 18 19 okay and uh, have you used any contraceptives no i haven't okay so uh, do you know what kind of uh, contraceptives are there well contraceptives uh, there are chemical contraceptives and physical contraceptives as far okay. as i can call like like uh, chemical contraceptives include pills okay. and physical ones include um well the uh, the ones that that are inserted into the uh, into your um uh, yeah could you name product. some um i can't remember actually okay <laughs> Sorry. that's fine that's okay but okay um have you ever received any uh, sex education from your parents or teachers from my parents i haven't yet received uh, from teachers i have but okay. it's been really vague okay why no i mean uh, they weren't they weren't direct they were like uh, like beating about the bush okay uh, when well, most of the education i have received is from uh, youtube videos or movies okay 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 last question um what do you think uh, how this younger generation needs to know about like do they need sex education and what kind of sex education what do you think about it i think um uh, younger generation definitely needs uh sexual education because mm-hmm. uh everything see as i have told for everything that i have learned is from youtube videos and uh is from is through media and not through like direct conversation with my parents or with my teachers so like um uh, it's 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 always better when you 
when you get that kind of education from somebody who's close to you so that uh, it's not there's no like barrier between them there's no discomfort when such topic ar- topics arise and if if a person is not uh, if a person is not like does not have access to any of these any of the uh, uh, any of the youtube videos or any other content that can educate that person then the person will be at, at a total loss so i think it is important okay so those are those were the questions thank you very much and uh, would you like to say something else add on something else um, add on something else well um <laughs> no okay all right so all right thank you thank you for coming thank you for talking with us yeah thank you for having me <laughs> it was exciting <laughs> bye hi Hi. Hi. Hello. Um so you know do you know why you're here today? Yeah, you would be asking my experiences or mm-hmm. <laughs> right, it's it's something like that. Uh so today's yeah. topic for the video is basically on sexual health and mostly the knowledge okay. behind sexual health. Um Okay. So for your first question it is have you ever taken part in any kind of sexual activities these may include uh this this doesn't include kissing this may include anything mm-hmm. from intercourse to uh anal penetration to dry humping to stimul- uh, self stimulation to oral sex to using sex toys mm-hmm. so have you ever partaken in any kind of sexual activity yes i have all right uh at what age would you say did you start partaking in or have you been sexually active um when i was um 21 or 22 all right uh from yeah. that age have you mm-hmm. used any kind of contraception um no i've not okay uh would do you know the kind of contraception contraceptives that are present um i know about eye pills mhm and that's pretty much about it um all right do you think i don't that- remember there was another thing that i thought of that i don't remember not mm-hmm. yeah uh would you say that condoms also fall under contraception yes but uh i was talking <laughs> uh on behalf of myself so, okay yeah it's all right it's all right it's all right yeah yeah because there are there are female condoms as well that mm-hmm. that exist mm-hmm. and other kind of uh besides pills there are injections and the patches and the udi the iods yes, i u i yeah yeah so we have all of those uh all right have you ever received any kind of sex talk or the talk or you know sexual education from your teachers or your parents or anyone older for that matter sex talk um not really mm-hmm. i was more into reading so i used to kind of self help myself Okay. So I used to read up things. Mhm. It's right. very inquisitive that way cuz mm-hmm. we never we didn't never really had any talk with parents and stuff. Okay. Anything Or with the teachers? Fr- and teachers no it was purely for um you know when girls started uh, having their periods. Mhm. That's when uh, stay free people had come to school and gave us a talk about it. All But right. But nothing more than that. All right. that was um, the only probably talk i've received all yeah. right all right so the main question uh do you think there is a need or what do you think about the need for sexual health education in today's india for today's youth uh, it is i think it should be mandatory because th- there are many people like me okay few there are many people like me who actually 
self help themselves mm-hmm. like by reading and you know gaining mm-hmm. knowledge right. but there is a different lot altogether who are very naive about these things who don't mm-hmm. have any kind of talks at home or nor mm-hmm. their friends are very open they too shy to talk about it mm-hmm. so for such people there should be these uh, what can you like these small um videos where you answer basic questions like there'll be many people who are too shy to talk to others as well mm-hmm. like even to uh, you know therapist also mm-hmm. like not everyone goes forward to you know clear their doubts and stuff so maybe small videos or or small talks where they can open their mind up right all right oh well that was basically the last question uh do okay. you have anything else to add any comments or anything any suggestions to parents of today or oh. honestly i think parents have to start sitting down with children and start talking cuz the amount of news is that you hear around i think they should start at a very young age just talk to them like not intricate details probably mm-hmm. it, so that you don't confuse the child yeah cuz all these children falling into traps is because they don't have the talk or they are they have zero clue about what's happening around mm-hmm. so they just jump into the thing so maybe parents have to i think parents are also some way responsible for their children's behaviors mm-hmm. at when it comes to these things cuz i never um what do you say cuz i was a step back always when it came to situations like this so i had to weigh out things before jumping into something cuz right. i knew i read it somewhere maybe it may not be true also mm-hmm. but i had this safe zone where i wouldn't step beyond it mm-hmm. cuz i read stuff okay you know something like a caution kind of thing mm-hmm. so yeah all right well thank you very much thank for you. talking with us yeah my pleasure yeah okay. i okay. hi hi okay take it so yes. do you know why you're here not really <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> okay so we are going to ask you a few questions sure and the topic is going to be on sexual health yeah sure okay so okay, okay. so i'll be i'll begin with the questions okay yeah. so have you ever taken part in any sexual activities but it should not include kissing okay no. so it involves like uh, okay. okay it involves like oral no. sex intercourse inner sex the use of sex toys so have you taken any part or no. even or even no. self stimulation yeah uh no no not really okay fine so uh, have you ever received any uh, sex education from your parents or teachers from school yes but i have not okay. spoken to my parents that no Okay what kind of education did you get in school as in what kind of oh, we had a short program like you know uh, we had some outside people coming and giving us a talk on this topic sex education and uh, that's how i we learned yeah okay okay um what do you think uh, do these youth need a sex education yes definitely okay. yes especially like when they are young uh, like because later on they shouldn't be confused about oh, like what their life is about about what is sex so i think it should be right from when they are young okay anything else you would like to elaborate on uh yeah it, it should be start, start given education of sex when they are in the uh, like uh, uh in high school or b- before that even okay. in sex 
Right. Okay. You 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 said that. Sorry, I'm just gonna jump in. You said that um, you received sex education in school from some people who came yes. from outside. Would you say that it was helpful? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Because that's the time when we uh, learn about our uh, self changing and uh, even about sex. We we should be very new to it. So that's mm -hmm. the time we need to know about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you say that besides from school, our, our parents are supposed to be open to us about it? Have talked to us about it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be actually. All right. Well, well, Glennis, yes. uh, that was the last of it. Thank you for coming oh, and talking to us. <laughs> Do you have anything oh, to say? Great pleasure. Thank <laughs> you so much for this opportunity. It was. Yeah, nice people. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Hi. 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 Okay. Uh, do you know why you're here? No. Okay. So basically, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and okay. the topic is going to be on sexual health. Okay. Okay. So yes. yes. Uh, starting with the first question, have you ever been part of any sexual activities which does not include kissing, but it includes like oral sex or anal sex, intercourse or self-stimulation and use of to toys? So have yes. You been part? Okay. Yeah. Um, which age did you start? 19. Okay. And did you use any contraceptive in no. that age till now? No. Okay. And uh, do you know what kinds of contraceptive measures are there? Mm, I know a few. Yeah, name them. Uh, like the pill, then condoms. Okay. Um, then the tea thing, I don't know what it's called. Yeah. Copper yeah. Well. Okay. Um, have you ever received any sex education from your parents or teachers? Yeah, we received it in school. Okay. Could you elaborate a little on it? Uh, so we would have uh, these sessions on sex education where they would come and then they would like uh, explain to us all the parts and what happens and uh, what are the measures the preventive measures and like you know for anything wrong to happen like to get pregnant or whatever and um yeah and they would talk about uh, how to have sex, safe sex is she Okay, there seems to be some technical <laughs> issue. So, because of the technical issue, I shall continue. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So, um, you said that your health sex talks and Would you say it was helpful to you today? Uh, not really. It's like. They told us the things that we already knew, so mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it was helpful or not helpful. Okay. But most of the things that they told us, by it, we had it when we were in the ninth and tenth. We mm -hmm. already know knew those things because uh, we used to talk. I mean, uh, like we used to talk talk among ourselves, and mm -hmm. uh, we like the, those kind of uh, conversations would always come up. So we already like had the knowledge of what happens and how it happens. Mm -hmm. So that was just like uh, an additional thing. Um, I don't know if it was helpful or not. Okay. Uh, the final question is, what do you think about the need for sexual health today for the youth, for teenagers? Things like that. Um, I think it's very important because uh, there are a lot of taboos and biases uh, that uh, govern our way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it 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 makes sex and uh, everything other 
everything else to do with sexual activities look uh, like it's very wrong mm-hmm. when it's not it's mm-hmm. uh, supposed to be uh, very sacred and uh, you know it it gives a lot of pleasure so um, because of these biases and because of this mindset that we're brought up with and uh, um the the kind of things that we're told that you know it's not right it mm-hmm. or whatever it makes it look like you know it's something really bad mm-hmm. and uh, indulging in those activities makes you look like you're a bad person mm-hmm. and then if if suppose anyone knows that you're indulging in such activities then you're tagged and labeled and right. something so sacred is turned into something so uh, not nice and mm-hmm. uh, really demeaning to the character of a person mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so right. i think it's very important that people are told about the, the youth is told about uh, you know given sessions on lectures on as to what it is and the meaning of it mm-hmm. uh besides giving lectures and sessions on it do you think parents are supposed to also sit with their par- uh, with their children and talk about it Yeah I think it's very important that uh, before the children come in contact with their friends and uh, uh, outside their home environment to mm-hmm. talk about uh, sex and all the other associated activities it is very important that the parents speak to them so that there's this uh, kind of comfort level that is created and you know children uh, or the teens don't take it like um, in a very uh, uh, defensive way Right. So if it is spoken about at home and uh uh like you know there's more understanding because they know that at home it's fine so that means everywhere else also it is fine right. so there has to be like this comfort level that that they has to be established between the parents and the children when they mm-hmm. talk about sexual mm-hmm. activities mm-hmm. all right so basically that was the last question and that was all we wanted to ask you uh do you have any kind of comments or anything else that you want to say mm, not really okay so that was it thank you for talking with us nishi had to go because of a technical problem <laughs> uh so yeah thank you for talking with us hi yeah. yes hi hi okay uh do you know why you here uh not really i mean like i know i'm supposed to speak about whatever you guys ask me i don't i have no idea okay. about the topic okay so the topic is on sexual health okay yeah okay so the first question is uh, have you taken any part in sexual activities it should not include kissing and okay. it includes like oral sex or anal sex intercourse or self stimulation and use of toys okay yes so have you taken part in yes. any such okay fine yes. so now that you said yes uh, which age did you start i was uh, 22 22 okay uh, since that age till now uh, have you used uh, contraceptive measures uh condoms usually okay uh do you know any other kinds of contraceptives uh, i know about pills but do you name them i know about pills uh okay. but usually it's just i use okay. condoms mm-hmm. okay do you know there are female condoms also no okay, okay. they are little cup like thingies yeah okay. and there's something called as copper tea also I have no idea. I've never heard about those things before. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Coming to the next question, uh, have you received any sexual education from your parents or teachers? Uh, not really. Yes. No. No. Then how do you like? I mean, like it's. The, uh, no. I mean, like it's usually what you see online and like porn and stuff like that. I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay coming to the next question uh, and the last one do you okay. think uh, that the young youngsters or the youth now need to have an education on sex yeah i guess it's kind of important okay 
and could you like elaborate a little like on what yeah, so basis music yeah i think sex plays a very important role in how you are in your in your life like so your your physical life or your emotional life and a lot of other things so it you need to be aware so that you can not only respect your own body as well as the other it's very important to be uh, learned about about sexual uh, about your about your, about your sex life so that i mean like it's basically about knowing what you're supposed to do and how you can avoid, there are a lot of risks that are also involved like i mean like pregnancy also if at that age pregnancy or sexual abuse or uh, like std stds and stuff like that so 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 in order to control like you need to be able to control all of all of this so it's very important to have uh, especially for the younger generations it's not like how it used to be so very important now mm-hmm. right um i have i have one one last question for you uh you said that uh most of your education or most of your sex education came from porn or things you watched or maybe even speaking to your friends do you think yeah. that was helpful to you uh not really i guess mm-hmm. it was a bit i don't know mm-hmm. yeah all right um do you think that besides schools besides education besides like facilities that uh give sexual education to people parents also should take a hand in talking to their kids yeah i think that's the most important thing i think it's very important that the parents speak to them mm-hmm. because the kids are more open to listening to the parents and mm-hmm. maybe there's a right there should be a right connection between the parents and the kids and i think i think it's very important that the parents speak to their children about sexual health basically. right so yeah so that was the end of it uh, thank you for talking with us Okay so that was the end of it and I am Nishit Ganga a psychologist at Olive Counseling and she is Kelly a psychotherapist at Olive Counseling right so that was that was a really good talk we had with a couple of our friends um most of them we will see we have seen have asked to blow their faces or remove their faces and we've not put out any names because we wanted to keep it a little anonymous for their privacy but when we after we got into conversation with them after after the whole video was recorded and it stopped recording we found out that the reason they wanted their faces to be blurred out is because their parents would watch it or you know other people would watch it and again that whole stigma that whole prejudice behind sex or behind sexual activities and the whole notion or mentality that people have and then the opinion that they create uh, about the people who have a uh, partaken in any kind of sexual activity makes them want to do this and they can't openly talk even though they have their own opinions about it so i think this was a good learning point uh, we found out a lot uh, a lot of uh, our a lot of uh, our friends have obviously taken part in some kind of sexual activity yes uh and i'm sure that everyone our age has also taken part in some kind of sexual activity and i think it is important that their parents or their teachers anyone around them know that that is the age that people do those kind of things and it's normal it is not something it's very natural it is not something that uh makes them a different person or makes them bad or makes them dirty for that matter so uh so yeah that was great uh just a tip to everyone out there be open about it parents maybe start talking to your children obviously at a young age uh maybe it will be a little embarrassing when they grow up to talk about it but uh as their kids they need to know this um because then they grow up to know what they're doing with their life and what they should expect from their life um so yeah anything you like to say nishi uh yeah i've also seen that you know uh, they know they have quite a lot of idea about the contraceptive measures that mm-hmm. they use so they they have a little detail on edu i mean sex but it's not it's not more it, there there's a lot of things that you know people have to still know about mm-hmm. there were very few mm-hmm. people who knew and mm-hmm. there were the others who knew about it right right so this probably the video can Yeah. So I know that this video is not really informative, but it is something to raise awareness. 
So to show that, yes, kids our age, people in their 20s, 25s are going or are partaking in some kind of sexual activity. Again, it doesn't mean that they only have sex. So if that is what y'all are worried about, or if you know that is the notion you're having, then maybe stop having that notion because there's a lot to, to, to sexual activities than just intercourse or things like that. Uh, lastly, I know we've done this with our age group, but soon we will do it with uh, a much older age group to get their viewpoint on the situation and their views and their opinions on this topic. So stay tuned for that. Follow us, yes. uh, subscribe to us, and hopefully I, you, like your, like. you like our content. Yeah. Comment, suggestions, any kind of your experiences, your views. We're open to it all. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, obviously. And if you need anyone to talk to, any, any help, go on to our website. It's www.olifecounseling.com. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.